Today, grade 11, for this week's topic, our discussion is about exercise for fitness. Engaging students in moderate to vigorous physical activity or MVPA in physical education prepares them to lead physically active lives and can improve health and academic outcomes. Physical activity does not have to compete with educational goals. In fact, it can help students learn content by enhancing concentration skills and on-task behavior. So what specific part of exercise for fitness we are going to talk about? We're going to talk about MVPA or moderate to vigorous physical activity. Moderate activity requires a moderate amount of effort and raise, raises your heart rate to a degree that you notice it, but your breathing stays more or less steady. Vigorous activity demands a large amount of effort that raises your heart rate considerably and forces you to breathe intensely. Intensely. By that definition, um, a lot of things may qualify as a physical activity. Everything from free play and sports participation to household chores and active transportation. So, let's talk about MVPA or moderate to vigorous physical activity. What is moderate to phys vigorous physical activity or MVPA? This is also known as the intensity of physical activity. Intensity refers to the rate at which the activity is being performed or the magnitude of the effort required to perform an activity or exercise. It can be thought of how hard a person works to do the activity. The intensity of different forms of physical activity varies between people. The intensity of physical activity depends on an individual's previous exercise experience and their relative level of fitness. Take a look at this table. Um, metabolic equi equivalents or METs are commonly used to express the intensity of physical activity. That is one way of measuring uh, the intensity of an activity. Um, MET is the ratio of a person's working metabolic rate related relative to their resting metabo metabolic rate. So, what is a MET? A MET is a ratio of your working metabolic rate re relative to your resting metabolic rate. Metabolic rate is the rate of energy expended per unit of time. It's one way to describe the intensity of an exercise or activity. One MET is the energy you spend sitting at rest, your resting or basal metabolic rate. So, an activity with a MET value of 4, 4, means you're exerting 4 times the energy than you would if you were sitting still. Still, to put in a perspective, a brisk walk at a 3 or 4 miles per hour has a 4 has a value of 4 MET. Jumping rope, which is more vigorous activity, has a MET value of 12.3. So, how are METs are cal calculated? To better understand METs, it's helpful to know a little about how your body uses energy. The cells in your muscles use oxygen to help create the energy needed to move your muscles. One MET is approximately... 3.5 milliliters of oxygen consumed per kilogram of body weight per minute. Again, 1 met is approximately 3.5 milliliters of oxygen consumed per kilogram of body weight per minute. So, for example, your weight is 160 pounds. So, in kilograms, that is 72.5 kilograms. So, you consume about 254 milliliters of oxygen per minute while you're at rest. So, paano yun nakuha? 72.5 kilograms, which is your weight, times 3.5 milliliters. So, that is equivalent to 254 milliliters of oxygen per minute while you are at rest. Energy expenditure may differ from person to person based on several factors, including your age and fitness level. For example, a young athlete who exercises daily won't need to expend the same amount of energy during a brisk walk as an older sedentary person. For most healthy adults, MET values can be helpful in planning an exercise regimen or at least gauging how much you're getting out of your workout routine.